There are over 40 hidden rock locations in Fallout New Vegas, each that contains random loot and in this video I will show you the locations to every single one of them in the base game. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. You can find one in the abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker. Once you make it, just go towards this sort of entrance and look to your left and it should be right over here. You will find one in the Black Rock cave entrance. So once you make it, just look towards the southeast and it should be right here where you see a heart shaped image on the rock itself. You will find another one in the Boulder Beach campground. So once you fast travel to the location, if you just look to your right where it says the sun is killing me, just go ahead and open the rock right over here. You will find another one in the entrance to the Bloodborne Cave. So once you make it, just go towards the entrance and to the right of the entrance will be another hollowed out hidden rock. You can also find one near Bradley's shack. So once you make it, just look towards your right and it should be right over here. You will find another one near the Brock Flower Cave entrance. So if you fast travel to the area, it should be right in front of you, right over here. For the next one, you will need to make your way to Camp Guardian. And once you make it, again, it should be right south of the fast travel location that you sort of spawn at in this rock that has the title the sun is killing me you will find another one in the cannibal johnson's cave so if you fast travel to the area it should be right in front of you right over here the next one can be found at the cazador nest so once you make it to the area be aware of the cazadors if you look to your right it should be right over here the next one will be found in chances map so again, similar to others, if you just fast travel, it should be right in front of you, right over here. You will find another one at Cottonwood Cove. So again, as you fast travel to the area, if you look immediately to your left, it will be right over here. The next one is found in the Crescent Canyon East. And similar, when you fast travel to the area, if you look immediately to your right, it should be right over here in this rock. You will find another one in the Crescent Canyon West. And again, as you fast travel, just look immediately to your left and it should be right this rock over here. You will find another one in the Dead Wind Cavern. So you should just basically fast travel to this area, but do be aware of death claws. As you fast travel, look immediately to your left and it should be this hollowed out rock right over here. You will find another one in the El Dorado Dry Lake. So again, once you actually fast travel, if you look to your south and travel down, you should see a Brahmin that has basically been attacked by something from here if you now head directly west then you should see a rock over there and it is that rock that is hollowed out so unlike the others which are more or less right next to the fast travel waypoints this one is a little bit further out but it's not too far and it should be right over here you will find another one in the fisherman's pride shack so again once you make it from here just head north and it should be right this rock right over here you will find another one in the fire root cavern entrance so once you make it to the location just head north and it should be this rock right over here you can also find another one in the followers outpost so again once you fast travel to the location if you just look immediately in front of you it should be right over here for this one you will need to go to the good springs cave so again just fast travel to the location and just look immediately to your right or southeast east and it should be right over here for the next one, you will need to go to the Hidden Supply Cave. And again, it's right next to the entrance on the right hand side, right over here. For the next one, you will need to go to the Hidden Valley. And it's pretty much right in front of you if you fast travel to the location, right over here. To find the next one, you will need to go to Jacob's Town. And as you arrive to the town, if you look immediately to your right, it should be right over here. For the next one, you will need to go to Jack Rabbit Springs. And once you make it to the area, you will need to look towards the south. And you should sort of see this rock over here and you've probably guessed it the hidden rock is right over here for the next one you will need to go to the lucky gym mine and again once you make it the rock is sort of behind the house so if you just sort of follow this path over here it should be right over here you will find another one in the makeshift great khan camp so again once you fast travel to the location if you look towards your southwest it should be right over here you will find another one in the Morning Star Cavern. So again, similar to almost all the others, you fast travel to the location and it should be right to your west and is th this rock over here. You will find another one in the Northern Passage. So again, fast travel to the location and just look to your southeast and it's right over here. 
The next one is found in the Powder Ganga Camp East. So once you travel to the location, just look towards your southeast and it should be this rock over here. The next one can be found in Prim. Now, unlike the others that are more or less right next to the fast travel location, for this one, you'll have to do a little bit of walking. So from the fast travel location, what you want to do is sort of head west and head towards the tent area of Prim. So let's just go ahead and do that really quickly. And once you do that, what you want to do is, again, continue to go west, but don't go towards the tent. Just sort of stick to this area and the rock is sort of behind this area over there. So just sort of try and climb your way up here and you might sort of need to jump. And as you do that, if you now look towards the northeast, it should be this rock over here. The next one is in Prim Pass. So again, once you make it to the location, it should be right here next to sort of these Brahmin bones. The next one can be found in the Remnants Bunker. So again, once you make it to the location, if you look immediately to your right, it should be this rock over here. For the next one, you will need to make your way to Ruby Hill Mine. And as you do, if you look immediately to your right, it should be right over here next to the entrance. For the next one, you will need to make it to Search Light East Gold Mine. And once you make it to the entrance to this particular mine from here, look to your east. And what you want to do is sort of hug this wall and go all the way around. And once you've done that, just sort of climb onto the top and the rock should be right here in front of you. For the next one, you will need to head to the Searchlight North Gold Mine. And from here, if you look immediately to your left, it's that rock over there. And to gain access to it, you will sort of need to just walk your way around this rock platform. So just quickly do that. And as you do that, you should be able to access this hollowed out secret rock. For the next one, you will need to head to Silver Peak Mine. And again, from the fast travel location, if you look immediately to the right of the entrance, it should be right over here. For the next one, you will need to head to the to Chittikat Mine. And once you've done that, just head up. And it should be right here, right next to the entrance to the right of it. For the next one, you will need to head to the tribal village. And as you travel to the fast travel point, it should be right here, sort of north from where you fast traveled in, right over here. Next, you will need to head to the entrance of Vault 11. And once you make it, if you look to your right, it's right over here. After that, head to Vault 22. And from here, if you look to your right, pretty much parallel to the message that says stay out, if you look to your right, it should be right over here. After that, we will need to head to the Walking Box Cavern. And from here, if you sort of look towards your northeast, you should see a rock and you should be able to open it that way. The next one can be found in Charleston's Cave. Once you make it, just look to the right of the entrance and it should be right over there. And the final one can be found in the Memorial. And what you will need to do is sort of go towards the south foot of the steps and you should see a peace sign and go ahead and open that. And with that, you have accessed every 42 Hidden Rock locations in Fallout New Vegas. Collecting all of the loot that you find in every single Hidden Rock will certainly amount to a lot of cool items. And if you like collecting things, then why not check out this video where I will show you the locations to 50 star bottle caps. Click on the video you see on the screen now to find out more.